Hello everyone, this is Hans, and today we are continuing where we left off. We were going to go to Kinos last time, if you remember. Are you not keeping up? Anyway, we are going to go to somewhere different. It is now the... Is that a shark? Out of the water? Is that a land shark over there? <gasps> it is a turn around. It is coming for me. It wants to taste the Hans. Oh, well, I will let it do so if he wants to. Anyway, instead of going to Kinos today, we are going to do something special. It is now the holidays, and it is New Year's. So we are going to celebrate the New Year's by going to a very scary place. But hopefully you will enjoy. It is called Vilios, and we are going to try to make it over to the Great Divide, because there is a Great Divide there between the Giants and the Icy Dwarves. It should be very very fun. I may die though, and that is okay, because that is what you are here for, I am sure. You want to see me die, I take a long way back, and we go there. Mm. Fourth wall breaks. Anyway, I will see you when we get to the free ports. Hopefully you are enjoying. Okay, so here we are. We are finally in the free port, and we are going to be going to North Row. But I do want to stop and show you an area that you may or may not know about. I understand if you know already, but if you are wanting to become a crafter of the peoples, then you should know about this place. So here we are, we are coming through the gate, and you can see there's the protector or the priest of the discord. He leads you to this area, or at least marks this area for you. So if you go this way, you go to the north row. If you go that way, you go to the dogs. If you go this way, you go into the other parts of Freeport. But I do want to show you, over here, there is these buildings. And this blue building kind of indicates it. But you can go right behind here, and you will come into a commerce area. This is where you can actually go and become a blacksmith if you wish to. It has a little tunnel down here. And if we go over here to this little building, you could already see the forge. What is great about this place is not only do you have all the people selling the things that you need, like water and all of that kind of things, but if you come through this door and you go upstairs, there is this lady. And if you are very lazy, like some people are, you can buy some metal bits right off of her sometimes. Also, I think, if I remember correctly, one of these people sells the metal plates, so you don't even have to make the metal bits. Let me, let me see here. I am sorry I'm behind your counter. I just want to talk with you real quick. Mm, I don't know who it is, but I know that there is a person somewhere here in Freeport who will do everything for you they will do the transfers of the of the um of the plates so you don't have to make the little metal bits but if you are wanting to be a blacksmith it is very good to make metal bits so that you can at least get the skills up anyway we are going to now head over to north row which has a little gnome i believe waiting for us he is a pirate and he is going to show us the way to the videos it should be very fun and once we get there we should have a boat coming for us which will lead us into the next area I hope you all had a very good holiday, whatever it is that you believe in, or your practice, or if you just like presents, because who doesn't like presents? You get things and stuff that you may or may not want, and I hope that is great for you. Hello, little girl. Oh, it's the Batsies. If you remember from a long time ago, we used to kill these Batsies, but now they are protected by me. I am a protector. Just so you know, we do not like the Orcs. The Orcs are very bad. Let me kill one just so I can show them who is the bosses. You are a bad Orc. You must die. Oh... I would let you leave. You are very cutesy. You are very thin, though. You need to take care of that. It's not good for you. Okay, <laughs> let me continue on, and I will meet you in the north of the row. It is very bad that there are so many skeletons. 
That means that people have died, and now they are arisen again. They are the undead. How do you even move without the little stringy thingies between your joints? I don't know. It is magical, I guess. Anyway, here we are in the North Row. It is a very deserty place. And if you remember, or if you have ever read about the folk stories about this place, this used to be a forest, and it was scarred in war. And that is why it is now a desert. It was scarred, I believe, by a god. But it was uh, used to belonging to, I believe, the Dark Elves. And now it is not anymore. Thank goodness the Dark Elves are so evil. But it is okay, because they now have a home of their own in a little mountain. It is not as great as it used to be for them, but at least they have something that they can cause a home. But not the row anymore, because it is ours. It is the people's place where everybody can go. So if you see, though, there are very bad monsters in the area. There are scarabs, and there are also the spiders. Sometimes you will find even bandits, because the dervishers, they are very mean as well. But, but we need to follow along this beach here, and we should find a gnome. I may be wrong about this, but there will be a pier that we have to go to, and that is where the boat is going to come in. But I did get something very cool. It was a little torchy thing here. I don't remember if I had it last time, but I do now. Also, I got the Keolas, if you remember, we were doing the quests, and we also have in here some furs, I do not remember what they are for, but they are for something special. Oh, there is a gnome, I believe. He is named Funkel the Pirate. Oh, do not be a pirate to me, do not steal my snuffs. Let's talk with him. Hey, Hey, sir, Hans, you look like a human in search of an opportunity. I am. In you, if I might, uh, if I'm right, something, oh, he is still talking. He is speaking very fast. If I am, if I'm right, and I know I am, then where better than a land of ice, rock, and ice? What? Wait, he said ice twice. This is very funny. Oh, with giants and dragons and sea to shining sea. It sounds like something I've heard before. The peak, your that peak, your interest. Hurry, hurry! Come, one, come all. That's right. Step up, step right up, and brave. Uh, step right up if you're brave enough to. Um, brave the icy lands of opportunity. Oh, he has so cute. I am a brave person. He did not speak to me. But anyway, we are now going to wait for the boat of opportunity. Hopefully, it will be here soon. Okay, the boat is here. It came from a direction I did not expect. I was looking in that way, but it came from this way. Either way, now we are on the little dingy thingy. And once we get into the next area, we have to find an island. And it is going to have a boat dock. That is going to have a massive boat. So it should be very fun. As you can see, there are mobs in this area that are of the level that I might be able to kill very soon. But we are not going to be staying around very long because we do need to get to Kinos. We are level 9 now, so we do have spells that we need to get, that we need to train and start using. But I wanted to wait until we got to Kinos because I do not trust any of the other rangers because I am a protector of the Kinos area and they have all the things that I need. Hopefully. I really do hope, because that would be very bad. Anyway, let us get on our journey, and we shall find our place among the ice. Hopefully, I believe it will be that way. Okay, here we are. We are now in ice clad, and we are looking for an island. And in the island is going to be a dock for another boat. We are taking all of the boats today. It is going to be very fun. 
This is my favorite bozo. It is big. It is very massive. And it has these barrels on it. So it will tear through all the ice if it gets in front of it. It is very neat the way that they did it. It's the gnomes though. They are very technical in the way that they do these things. Also, I think it is very funny, but the boat is actually on track. This boat that we are on. So, and we can target it. So, if you are waiting for the boat, then you can actually track it and find that it is in the area. So, you know that whenever we are coming back, that we can actually look for it. So, if I was to track it, it is not telling me it is ahead and to the left. <laughs> that is so funny. It is straight ahead of us. Anyway, uh, let us go ahead and get on the land now. Because that is what we need to do. We need to jump into the water. Oh, there is a pirate runner's skiff. And there is a Giselle the Lodge. And I do not know if he is a kind person or not. But I want to track them. Uh, and hopefully we will not die. <laughs> that would be very bad. Okay, they are ahead and to the right. So right up here, maybe up at this thingy. I do not trust them though. So I'm going to take a very wide turn around, just just in case. Ahead into the right, ahead into the right, straight ahead. Straight ahead? Oh, I am sure that they are in that little thingy. Let me see. I never have seen this person before. Ahead into the left. Are they a walking person? Are you walking right now? Into the right? Straight ahead. There is a person right there. Are you a, min a mad person? You are ind indifferently. Let's just go talk to them. He is very large. Hail! That's right, large. Because that's what I be. I, uh, yeah, uh, don't like it. Or even if uh, you do. You best go, uh, best get to the dock on the other side of the island. You never know when the icebreaker is going to stop by again. And you're not waiting uh, to miss it. Oh, okay. I will go to the other uh, side of the island. So we need to head this way. This is very cool. He is very large. He is very cool. Anyway, so we have a little fire if we need to, we can get warm by, but it is not very cold yet because we have not found the ice. Okay, we need to follow along the edge here. Oh, there it is. There is the dog. It is very menacing, but it is a very cutesy boat whenever it finally gets here. Did I say boat? I meant ship. I am sorry if I offended anyone. Anyway, let us wait for the boat, and hopefully it will be here very soon. If not, then I will wait a little bit, I guess. Okay, the boat is coming in. Here it is. Oh my goodness, look at how big it is. It is so nice. This is made by the non-pirates. Oh, it is so neat. I really do enjoy this boat. Out of all the boats in the game, this one is the very coolest. If you look up there, it is the drum, and that is what breaks through the ice for the people. And you can see it is steam-powered, and also you have a huge area that you can sit under so you don't have to get all the snows on your faces. But for me, I love to stand in the front of it. That way I can see the, the thing hitting the, through the water. And also, uh, oh, is there a clicky thing here? I didn't remember if there was. If you could actually go below the deck. I don't think there is though. Anyway, I do love watching up here because you get to see the water being churned by the little hammer singing and up there. But now that we are in ice cloud and now that we are here, there are a lot of things that we got to be very careful about. There are cougars who are white as the snow and they hide very well. There are pirates, but they are not mean pirates. They are very nice and they will give you things like spells and quests and also little boxes that will actually make it easier for you to carry stuff. They are 10 slot items. Also, there is a 
Griffon named Grandfather who is highly tracked in this area so that you can get an item that they had swallowed a long time ago. Not only that, there is a tower in the zone. It is very tall and very cool looking. It is um, a very dark area. And right next to it are the gnolls. The gnolls for oddly, or oddly very nice to us. So it is going to be very interesting to see. But we are going to travel through the water here and just see how everything goes. It is a very fun little trip and hopefully you are going to enjoy it. Okay, so here we are in the docks in Iceclad at the Pirate Island is what it's called. You can see up there, there are already cougars we can see. But I want to talk about the dock real quick. If you are a caster or not a caster, if you are a warrior like that man up there, he is very awesome. He is powerful. He is an ogre. If you are able to, you can actually get bound here. But for us, for me, I only have one home, and that is Kinos. So I will always be bound in Kinos. But if you need to, you can bind here. One of the things that is very important about this island is that there is a a griffon named Stormfeather, and he drops a part of a map that will give you an eye patch of the plant room, which is given to you by one of these gnomes. Now, there are little igloos, igloos, I believe is what they are called. I don't know. I am not an Eskimo, but we are able to see it. We cannot go near it because of the um, cougars that are here, the snow cougars. They are very mean and ravenous, and they will kill us. But they are so cute. Look at that little guy. He is so nice. Anyway, if you need safety or you need to med and you are killing these people, I don't know why you would. But if you need to, you can actually come to this island here or this little peninsula, whatever you want to call it. And this is actually a safe area to pull to or to rest. So if we go back up here, I do not know how close I can get without being in danger because there is no zone nearby. But if you want to, you can actually come up here a little bit. Oh, and there it is, the little igloos, the ice plate, uh, place house houses. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, there are spells there and there is a captain and he has a quest for you as well. And this is where you would come for that. 
Now, I need to be very careful as I walk through here, because this could be a place where I die, and that would not be good. It would be funny for you, maybe, but not for me. <laughs> anyway, we are seeing the other island now. I want to track and see if there is any kind of things in the water that I can find. And I am not seeing anything. Now, there is one thing that I know for a fact that does spawn here in the water. And he is huge and massive. And he is a turtle. His name is Lodizal. And he drops some very important items. Like, he drops boots, a belt. I don't know why he wears these things. He is a big old turtle. I don't know how he does it. But it is very cool, the items that he does drop. So it is very, um, it is very sought out for. After he has meat too, maybe I don't know. Maybe they are very hungry people who are trying to kill him, and that is why they do it. Is because they know that he will provide them sustenance or something like that. Anyway, uh, we are still not seeing anything on track, which is good for us. But he does not spawn over in this area. This island that we are coming to now, this is called the Tower of Frozen Shadow Island. There is a massive tower that is the inhabitants of the undead and also the wife or previous wife of Mayong Miss Moore. He is a person who owns a place over in the Lesser Fadok called Miss Moore. <laughs> after named after him of course well he did her very wrong and now she is mad her name is Tessaria I believe and she is the keeper of the Tower of Frozen Shadows and if you go in there you will see his face all over the place but it is all scratched out he would not stay with her and now she is cursed to live there forever alone. It is so sad. She does have little torchy things that do stay near her and protect her. So that is very cool of them. But she is mean. There should be a tower here, but it is very hard to see anything with the way that the, the sky is at the moment. I do not even know where I am, to be honest. There it is. There is a tower and there is a, a cougar. Here's Dubias. He loves me. Hello, little cougar. I love you too. Oh, so yeah, I'm not very worried now. I was worried before, but that is not the only threat in the area. So there it is, the Tower of Frozen Shadows. If you are in as a time when it is very stormy, you cannot see to the very top of it, but it is very neat the way it looks. Now, over here, this is our next threat that we need to take care of. They are called Shadow Guardians, and they will attack you. They are probably around level 20 to level 34 or 5, and they are very mean too. So, those you do need to be careful of. But I believe right around one of these little spiky things that comes out of the ground is the doorway into the Tower of Frozen Shadows. But yes, it is going to be surrounded. But if you need to come and get some experience, then this is the place to do it. Uh, you can stay here in the tower if you have the right people with you, all the way up into level 60. The last floor is very tough and very hard, but also does give you experience all the way up. Also on the fifth, or I'm sorry, it's the sixth floor. It also has experience for level 60s as well. Not very many mobs though, but you can at least kill them. Now we are coming over. How, here are the nose. They are indifferently to me, and they will give you quests as well. But I am too young, I am too low level, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. So we are going to see the Shards of Ice here. Now, if you want to see Lodazal, I do not know when she is spawning, but it is over here under the ice. See this little uh, place with the three nodes? And also there are little seals that they club. They are, they are very mean in that way. The seals, they like us. But anyway, there is, uh, you, you see here, there is a polar bear. If we look under the water, there is pets there. And that is where Lotus will spawn. Anyway, we need to travel on and we need to be very careful here. There is things in, that are showing on track. Let me see if there is anything. There is a fishy type. Now, we, now that we are in the Eastern Ways, let's talk a little bit. You may be saying, 
Oh, but Hans, you are going to travel along the water, and it is going to be very boring. But no, I am not that way. We are going to travel through the middle of the zone. Of course, we may get killed, but I know the area pretty well, and now that the fog has gone away, it will make it very easy for us. And it is daytime, so if I want to, I can actually put my torchy away. Let me see if I have room. Oh, do I not have room? I do. I do have some room. Let's put the torch away. That way we, we can save it for later. Either way, so here we are in the eastern ways. We're going to be coming down the ramp here. And you will see a little building over here somewhere, hopefully soon. Yes, there it is it's over there. I saw a little corner of it, so I know it's true. But if you go and you look over there, there are some oaks. They are also, I believe, they spawn a very, very important name that you have to kill for a quest. But it is not uh, up at the moment. So what we are going to do is, once you come down the ramp, you kind of want to turn in this direction. Let me see if I have a button for this. Um, I did not. What is that? It's just number eight. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit since heading. If I have that skill. This is northwest is the direction that we are going to head. Now, the reason we are going this direction is because this will take us to the Rigor Fort. I want to show you that. And then we're also going to show you a giant fort. Now, there's also a place that is uh, off of this area that is called Kael. K-E-A-L, I believe. K-A-E-L? Kael Drakil. Anyway, it is a very big area for giants to convene. And there are arenas where gladiators fight, and there are very powerful named people there as well. Let me make sure, because as we zone through zones, we not, uh, and that is correct. So <laughs> they are not very friendly with me, so I need to uh, steer clear. And there is a Kodiak right there. There is also things in the zone called Bullthorks, both orcs are not very friendly either. They are like walrus peoples, and they also have friends that are walruses. As you can see, this is not a very safe way to go, but if we are very keen to what is around us, we should be safe, I believe. Hopefully. <laughs> what is funny, though, as you can see as we move through the zone, and as we get further in, we find more and more things that can kill us. Uh, you may have seen for a glimpse there. Oh, there it is, a snow griffin. Um, they are very fast. They run, I believe, almost at bard speed, but they are um, very neat in their look and appearance. Of course, that is also ready to attack to me. If it gets anywhere near me, then I am dead. But I see the huts that I am looking for, and I should be... Okay, I'm not saying that I will be safe. I should be okay once I get over to them. Because over there is uh, some dwarves, and they do not absolutely hate me, but they don't like me either, because they do not know who I am. I will let them know that I am the Hans, I am the protector, I am the strider of Zakinos, and I am here to help them be who they are anyway so here they are you can see that they are very icy looking and they look very neat and very interesting this here is the lookout and if you give him orders from a special orc called the messenger he will spawn a very rare named well he is not very rare i guess because you can spawn him every 10 minutes but he will spawn a named person who has a chance to drop a very important piece of items. It is called the Frozen Orb. Now, over here, we can see this is the Orc Fort. And somebody must be fighting it at the moment. Uh, because you can see that they are not there. But here is one uh, we will show you. Uh, it is, a, again, a Frozen Orc called Zoragor. And you can see it is a shaman as a pet who is killing them. I am not going to stay near him very long because, like I said, the messenger should be coming at some point and they will attack me for being as low level as I am. So we are going to continue on. Now that we know that that is there, 
we are going to look for this mountain range, and we are going to try to stay along this horizon here. I know that it may be very odd the way that I may explain it. Uh, you can also go between the trees through the posts if you want to. But uh, if we follow this direction, and I don't know why I know this, but if we follow this direction, we will run into the giant ford. And I need to keep track of the horizon as well. That way I know what's going on. Also, there is a dwarf who spawns up here. Uh, uh, it is not safe. It is This is not a safe area for me to be. But you can see him up there. He is part of a quest for a ring. And we may do that later in life, but not now, because it would be very dangerous for us to do so. Okay, let us make sure. And there it is. There is the giant fort. Again, a lot of mobs that are in the area that can kill us. So we need to be very careful. Now, there is another mob that I didn't mention yet, and they are very rare to find. Not too rare, but they are rare, and they are called a manicor. They are a lion with a scorpion combined. They look very evil and very menacing, but they are in the area that we are about to go to, and this is not a very safe location for me. I do need to... Oh, and I am, I am targeted. If I get hit, I am dead. This is this is where we run for our lives. This is very bad for us. Anyway, as you can see, there is the giant fort. It's very cool looking. And there are two little huts inside. And one of them is a traitor Coldane. And her name is Peffin, I believe. And she is um, someone that you need to kill later on. Again, for a quest. So now that we are running for our lives and not really able to look at very much, it is going to be even harder for me to get to the Great Divide because this area that we are heading into is very odd in the way that it is designed where you can get lost very easily. And you saw that the, the Rygor, he attacked me from pretty far away. And that is because of the fact that I am low level. So my aggro range is much higher than, say, someone who is in their 30s or 40s. But hopefully we'll find the area that I am looking for really quickly. Uh, but it does not look like it at the moment. Oh, and we do need to make care uh, be careful that we do not fall to our death. And if we do die, we are going to have a very hard time. Oh, there is a manticore. I told you there is a manticore. Um, so there is that. Uh, I do have a Rygor still behind me, uh, I believe. So I am going to keep running as if it is there, even though I cannot currently see it at the moment. So what we are looking for is a divot in the world that leads into an area, and there it is. That is what we are looking for, but it is also next to a, a Kodiak, so we need to be very careful here. Um, what I will do is, as we zone into the Great Divide, I will look behind me and see if the orc is still there. But I cannot do, right, or do so right now, because I am too scared for my life. Okay, so here we are. This is the very last... Uh, line of uh, uh, area that we need to go through and you can see that there is a body up there which is kind of sad um, let me go ahead and hide the thingies uh, if you remember I, wrote, I made a button a long time ago called hide the thingies anyway now that we are almost there let's just look behind us and he is there uh, okay we need to go ahead and turn this way <laughs> uh, this may be a bad thing let me go ahead and get back into the first person view um, so that we do not die. You may be saying, Hans, now you are safe. I am, for now, but we are now about to go through another perilous area. This is the Great Divide. This is a place where the orcs and the giants are always at war with each other. And because I am me, I am going to show you where the giants are and where the... Did I say orcs? This is why the Coldane and the giants are always fighting. Anyway, I'm going to show you the forts of the giants, and then I will show you the home of the the um the Coldane. Now, what is very interesting about this zone is they have a wizard spire here, but apparently the spark is not active because wizards cannot port to this area. 
though they do have another area that they can go to. So right up there is the, is the giant fort. And there are special giants in the area called elites. And they hit much harder than everything else. But yeah, so the, the wizard spire there is not, uh, is not portable to. But they did have a, another location in the zone called the, the Dragon Ring as the one before that we were at in Ice Clan that you can port to. So if you if you need to port to uh, this area, you can port there through the Dragon Ring. Uh, also, Druids can port there as well. So it is not uh, one, one kind of port. The reason I believe that this one has become uh, unused is because it is infested with giants and of the wolves and all of those things. So I am sure that they are trying to just protect the people so that they do not uh, get attacked. So we are going to be coming into a really cool area here, these little spires. I don't know if they're supposed to ward the giants off, but they don't usually go into that area. Once we come across this hill here, we will find a river in the water. A ri river in the snow, not water, because that is what a river is, is water. It must be very frozen, or it must be very cold, because of the fact that the water is still moving, even though it is icy outside. There is a thing, I don't know if you have ever heard of this, you may want to look it up, but there is a thing whenever you free something too fast, that it is actually going to stay its liquid form until you hit it very hard. So it's kind of like a thing called oobleck, where if you if you hit it very hard, it acts like um, it acts like a solid. But whenever you drop it, it turns into a liquid. So it's kind of a a different kind of version. Anyway, you can see that the water is um, is moving. And in this area, these are two workstations or two stations where the where the Coldane will uh, patrol to. So you'll see patrollers out here, and sometimes people will kill these these little guys. They're little cute people. Now, if we follow along the river here, you will find that it runs into a cave. In that cave are worms or they are dragons who don't have wings. They look like regular dragons, but they, they are wingless. Anyway, that is a very scary place to go as well. Now, over here, uh, where the water is leading to, you will find that there is a waterfall. And behind the waterfall is where the where the people live, the, the, the Coldane dwarves. And it is a very cool little place. It's, they carved it out of the ice. Now, I didn't mention this before, but also over at the Rigor Fort, there is a place where you can go into it. And if you go far enough into it, there is another city that is made by the Coldanes. And it is a place that you can go and you can sell and buy and things like that. So there is other places. There are other settlements of the dwarves. And I believe one of those dwarves, the Peffin person that I was talking about before, that they had gotten to a point where they were, I don't know, mad with their own people. So they ended up uh, betraying them. So there is the waterfall. And if we go right to the waterfall, you will find an area that has the dwarves. Hello, to little dwarves. Now, we aren't going to end here. I want to show you the other dragon ring. Also, there is another zone inside this zone. It is called Velkator's Laboratory. This is a place where there is a giant frost giant lord. I guess he is gianter than the other giants. Uh, either way, he is the frost giant lord of the, of the dungeon. And he drops very cool things like spellcaster stuffies. Uh, also, there are spiders within, and they drop special silks that are for quests that people need to do. Oh, I forgot. Oh, these, these are so cute. I forgot. We need to definitely check these out as well. These are the Tismax. They are a very special race. Now, if you've ever heard of the Minotaur, Think of a minotaur, but make it cute. And that is what these people look like. They are, they are called the Tismac 
and I don't know if they have leaders or anything like that, but they should not be violent. They are they are the anti-violent versions of of the of the people. Um, if I can find them, uh, they live in little holes. Here, here's a little hole over here. We'll go and see if we can find them. This also leads over to where we are heading anyway, so it is um it is okay. So again, these doggies, these are the Coldane doggies. Uh, this whole area is the Coldane, and then the area um across the river is where the giants are. So it's oh there he is! Look at the little Tismak. He looks like a little cow guy. He's not really uh, the same as a minotaur, but he is he is very cutesy. Hello, little Tismark. Hopefully you are having a great day. So again, more of these pillows. I do not know what they are for, but I believe they are to ward off uh, the giants. Now, I have seen in my lifetime, uh, or I've heard at least, of these fights that happen here between the giants and the dwarves, where people will help the dwarves try to keep the giants from taking over the town of, of the dwarven people, because if they take it over, then all the dwarves die, and that is not good. But if they are successful, then there are very neat things that you can get from it. I don't know what these things are, but maybe it's something that you would be interested in looking into. So once we get over this hill here, again, we are not, we are never safe. <laughs> we are never safe in this place. But we are going to get something that we can take with us. And this is not something that we will ever use, but it is a momentum, a, 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 not a momentum. I don't know what the word I'm thinking, a trophy showing that we have been here in our, in our lifetime. But it is a dragon's tooth. Of, of the Great Divide, and we will get others, but I am only going to keep one, which will be the final one, called the Cobalt Scar Trophy, or the Cobalt Scar Dragon Tooth, I think is what it's called. Either way, it is a very cool item. So here we are, another dragon uh, ring, and we need to make sure that there is nothing around, because there are worms and... Kodiaks and other things that will travel through here that kill us, and that would be very bad. So, I am not seeing anything so far. Want to check inside before we go in? Ah, see, there was a Kodiak, he was a very mean person. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this thing here, and we will look at it in our inventory. It's called the Tooth of the Great Divide. But I want to say, everyone, hopefully you are having a great day and also having a great new year. Uh, this is going to be releasing on the new years of uh, the eastern coast of the Americas. That way it can travel around all over. If I was to do this for the German time, which is what I had originally planned, it would be two in the afternoon on the next day. So that wouldn't be very uh, good. I feel that if we do it at uh, on the Eastern time, at least it will travel around and people may watch it as it hits New Year's uh, by the time the video does end. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed and we are now in Villiers, which should be very fun for us to get back home.
Thank you.